Hello everyone, welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we are going to discuss about the Angular 16 new features. So today, Angular 16 has launched and it came with couple of the performance improvement and apart from that, there are couple of the exciting new features which was introduced newly with the Angular 16. So we have seen like Angular 15 was introduced in the November 2022 and after just five or six months later, they have introduced the Angular 16. So let's discuss like what is the new features which was introduced in Angular 16. So if we talk about that first enhancement and that is the rethinking reactivity. So the purpose of this, uh, this rethinking reactivity and the use of this is like it's basically improve the developer experience. So when you will start working with the angular so you will see like uh, when you are going to uh, work in the html side or in the component side it will give you the like uh, intelligence of uh, all like whatever word you are going to write and apart from that like it improves the performance as well so it gives the developer experience and improve the performance next is the angular signal so this is the very exciting new features that was introduced in angular 16 and like this angular signal you have seen like uh, in the previous uh, like in the react also like if you have worked with the react you have seen this angular signal so now this feature is introduced in the angular 16 as well so now with this library this angular signal library now it will allow us to define reactive values and express dependencies between them so in a bit we will understand this one with an example Another is the RxJS interoperability and the purpose of this one is basically like uh, you now we will be able to easily lift signals to observable using the functions and those functions we can use the command from at the rate angular slash core slash RxJS interop and which is currently is, is it is in the developer preview as part of this version 60. Now in a bit we will see like how we will we will able to convert a signal into the observable and observable to the signal. Another is the server side rendering and the purpose of the server side rendering is now basically has improved a lot. Now now in this server side rendering it is a the number of uh, one opportunity for improvement of the angular. Now for an example like uh, with the help of the Chrome Aurora team, they have improved the performance of this server side rendering. And another is the hydration enhancement. And this hydration enhancement is now like it is used, like it's basically like to improve the um, like um, the angular experience. So now currently this uh, hydration enhancement, it's uh, currently in the uh, like uh, in the um, developing mode basically now for an example in certain cases there are the opportunity where uh, like javascript delete and that is not essential for the page and hydrate the associate component letter so basically this technique also known as the partial hydration and we will explore it more in the uh, like coming videos like what is the hydration enhancement and apart from that, they have improved the tooling for standalone component, directive, and the pipe. So these standalone is introduced in the Angular 15. They have even more improved with the Angular 16 as well. Apart from that, they have done the advancing developer tooling. So with the help of this advanced uh, developer tooling, now like it is very easy uh, for us to do work with the Angular 16 as well. Now, next is the better unit test with Jest and the web test runner. So previously we used to write the unit test case using the Jasmine and the Karma. Now we can write the test case with the Jest and the web test runner easily. Apart from that, it do the autocomplete import in the template. Now, what is the meaning of that? It's basically like now uh, in the HTML side, when we are going to write anything, so it autocomplete those things. So in a like in the coming videos, we will do practice on this one, like how we can do. If we talk about little bit briefly of all these properties, so rethinking reactivity, like it's basically to improve the performance and developer experience. 
Apart from that, it is completely depend on the backward compatible and inoperable with current system and then it enable it. It improve the performance by reducing the computation number while the change detection. It also enable the fine grained reactivity. Apart from that, if we talk about the angular signals that was uh, in the react, now it was introduced in the um, angular version 16 as well. So now for an example here, you, you can see like what is happening. We are going to print the full name. Now with the, using the signal, how we are going to print that full name. It's basically like it depend on the signals. Here we have taken the first name and last name, two signals, and we are giving some number. Now to print this full name, we, what we are doing, we are computing. We are computing these values, like these variables and using the effect. So here we have defined the effect, which is basically a callback. So which callback will execute every time when we change any value of the signal and it read in the full name and using the display name, we are printing that full name, we are setting it. So this is the way signals works. Another is the RxJS interoperability. Probability. So now with this, now for an example, if I want to convert an observable to signal, so the main method that is the two observable you can see, and it comes from this library here at the rate angular slash code slash rxgs intro. Next is like if you want to convert a signal into the observable, then we can use the two signal method. So these are the method through that we can convert from one to another. Next is that server side rendering and hydration enhancement. So like uh, as per help of the Chrome Aurora team, they have done the improvement performance uh, on the server side rendering and they have even improved the uh, like a couple of the like performance uh, in the Angular side as well. So these are the couple of the features and the performance that we have discussed with the Angular 16. In the coming videos, when we will uh, grow on this knowledge of this Angular 16, we will cover every feature in a detail and we will create an application and we will see like how it works. So that's it for this video. If you have any question and doubt, please comment. Thank you.